Hi there. Now for this question, we're given the positive constant a is such that the integral from a to 2a of 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4 all divided by x squared integrated with respect to x equals 0. And what we've got to show is that 3a cubed minus 5a squared plus 2 equals 0. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's have a look then at this first part. So we've got the question, let's just copy the question out actually. We've got the integral then going from a to 2a of all of 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4 and this is all divided by x squared and we're integrating with respect to x and it equals 0. Now we need to get this in the form that is suitable for integrating and that means I've got to get rid of this x squared. There's two ways I can do this. I can rewrite this as 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4 all multiplied by x to the power minus 2 and then expand the brackets. Another way though, which is one that I'm going to do here and I prefer, is to just divide each of the three terms by x squared. It will give you the same result as if you had multiplied by x to the power minus 2. Well here we've got 2x cubed divided by x squared and that is going to be 2x. Then you've got minus 5x squared divided by x squared. The x squareds would cancel, just leaving you with minus 5. And then you've got plus 4 over x squared. Well, that's the same as 4 multiplied by x to the power minus 2. Remember, 1 over x squared is x to the power minus 2. So you'll end up with 4x to the power minus 2. And we've got to integrate all of these three terms with respect to x. So we need to put that in brackets and then integrate with respect to x. And being an equation here, it equals 0. OK, now if we integrate this in the usual way, integrating 2x, that is we add 1 to the power, that would be x squared, and divide by the new power, we divide by 2. Now when you have a constant, that's just going to be the constant multiplied by x. And for this term here, 4x to the minus 2, add 1 to the power, so that's x to the power minus 1, and divide by the new power, minus 1. And we'll put that in square brackets, and it's between the limits going from a to 2a, and that equals 0. OK, so we'll border this off and we'll just carry on down here. So what I want to do is clean this up. Well, this first term, the 2's cancel, so therefore we've got x squared. And then we've got minus 5x. And for this last term here, this is going to be minus 4 multiplied by x to the minus 1. x to the minus 1 is 1 over x, so 4 times 1 over x is 4 over x. And again, we've got this going between the limits. OK, we just square that off there. Between the limits a and 2a, and it equals 0. So just need to put in when x equals 2a and subtract what we get when x equals a. So if we put 2a in first of all, let's just have some brackets again, we've got 2a all squared, and then we've got minus 5 times 2a, minus 4 divided by 2a, and then from this we subtract, let's just put those brackets up again, what we get when we put a through. So it's going to be a squared, minus 5a minus 4 over a Let's complete the square brackets there and it equals 0. So what have we got now? We've got 2a all squared which is 4a squared minus another a squared here so that's going to be 3a squared. So what have we got next? Well for the a terms we've got minus 10a here and then we've got minus minus 5a 
So minus 10a plus 5a is going to be minus 5a. And then for this term here, I notice that the 2 will cancel into the 4 twice. So we've got minus 2 over a and then minus minus 4 over a, so that's minus 2 over a, plus 4 over a, and that's going to give me plus 2 over a, and that equals 0. So I don't need any fractions now if I'm to get this, so I need to multiply both sides by a, and that therefore gives me 3a to the power 3, 3a cubed, minus 5a squared, and then for this term that's just going to be plus 2, and obviously 0 times a, well that's 0 still, and that's what I had to show.